Around 2 billion people, or 26.7% of the world's population, rely on agriculture for their livelihood. Agricultural experts around the globe are constantly striving to devise technology and sources that can yield maximum grains without impacting the environment. Along with other methods, regenerative agriculture is becoming prevalent day by day. Did you know regenerative agriculture can help battle climate change by storing carbon in the soil? When the soil is rich, more food and nutrients are produced, more carbon is stored, and there are more species, which boosts biodiversity. What is regenerative agriculture? The term regenerative agriculture refers to farming and grazing methods that, among other things, help slow down climate change's effects by restoring depleted soil biodiversity and rebuilding soil organic matter. This improves the water cycle and reduces carbon emissions. How does regenerative agriculture work? The core of regenerative agriculture is that it uses technology that regenerates and renews the soil and ecosystem so that it not only does no harm to the land, but actively improves it. Regenerative farming creates healthy soil that can produce high quality, nutrient dense food while also enhancing the land rather than deteriorating it. This results in productive farms, healthy communities, and thriving economy. It is a dynamic and all-encompassing approach incorporating permaculture and organic farming techniques to boost food production, farmers' incomes, and topsoil. These techniques include no-till practices, cover crops, crop rotation, composting, mobile animal shelters, and pasture cropping. Advantages of regenerative agriculture. Regenerative agriculture management can help sequester carbon, reversing climate change. Healthy soils yield more nutrient-dense foods that are better for us and a variety of other reasons. Nutrient shortages are at the heart of many current health problems. Regenerative and biodiverse farms exhibit much higher yields and more resilience than traditional farms. The soil's ability to store water is improved by adding organic matter. This aids in the fight against droughts, which occur more frequently yearly. Family farming offers a chance to strengthen local economies. According to the forum, other advantages of regenerative agriculture include more effective water use and fewer pests because higher biodiversity makes the ground more resilient. Can regenerative agriculture take the place of traditional farming? Farmers and governments are becoming more interested in regenerative agriculture as a positive, flexible approach to sustainable farming as the world's population expands and the need for sustainable food supply rises. Simply sustaining our ecosystems may not be sufficient to counteract climate change and preserve the long-term productivity of farms. Given the harm already done to the natural environment, regenerative farmers actively alter their farming practices to increase biodiversity, enrich soils, improve watersheds, and improve the welfare of animals and wildlife. By adopting a more holistic way of thinking, they'd make their farms more resistant to climate change and extreme weather, improving the sustainability and vibrancy of their rural communities in the process. Organizations in nations like the US, Brazil, and India intend to have millions of acres converted to regenerative ways as legislators and professionals in the food sector search for solutions that would assure sustainable food supplies. Regenerative Organic Certified, a certification program for food, fiber, and personal care items, was introduced by the activist Rodel Institute in collaboration with businesses like Patagonia. Global firms have also invested in regenerative suppliers, notably EIT food partner Danone and General Mill. Is regenerative agriculture the solution? There is no doubt that regenerative farming needs to develop more before it can serve as a viable substitute for the current conventional industrialized agriculture. It is also apparent that it is a source of significant thoughts and influence. A regenerative strategy can present farmers with new economically viable and environmentally responsible alternatives. It provides alternative perspectives on sustainability for policymakers. It also exemplifies minor steps and adjustments intimately related to a broad vision for changemakers trying to lessen the harmful effects of farming. Importantly, restorative agriculture implies a broad strategy that enables many farms to create fresh, flexible cycles and systems. These, in turn, can foster the growth of a distinctive and hardy farm ecology. It is possible for humans to co-evolve with nature in what author Raymond Cole has dubbed partnered relationships between human and natural systems. Where is regenerative agriculture being practiced? Globally, regenerative farmers and networks are expanding regenerative agriculture. Across Asia, Latin America, the United States, Canada, Africa, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand, Regeneration International lists a network of partners. One such instance is the regenerative farmer Niels Olsen from Australia. He is the first farmer in the world to receive compensation from the government for storing carbon in the soil. 
Olson's technique calls for planting various crops and grazing plants, such as pulses and grasses, to boost soil nutrients, yield, and soil carbon in strips within the same field. Sesame, pumpkin, and corn are just a few of the second and third vegetable crops Brazilian cotton farmers are growing in addition to their primary cotton crop. In addition, they are replacing chemical fertilizers with organic ones. According to the conservation news website Manga Bay, their cotton production has tripled in the two crops since they began. In contrast, the yields of the other crops have increased by up to seven times. In addition, farmers in Tanzania and East Africa produce maize, beans, and bananas alongside cash crops like cardamom as instances of regenerative agriculture. We require a more comprehensive approach to sustainable impact if we are to significantly advance towards sustainability targets in the ensuing decade. Corporate sustainability teams may employ regenerative agriculture as a crucial instrument to reform the food system, combat climate change, preserve forests, and support farmers. It benefits businesses, farmers, and the environment. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Check out our other videos about regenerative agriculture practices and don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.